Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Klaus and welcome again to three minutes only my running online interview series. And today we are at session number 15. Um, my guest today is a musician from California. He's a brilliant singer since many, many years. In the past, he mostly performed together with Michael Schenker and in his bands, but also in a band called Black Swan. So Yay. please welcome from Los Angeles, Robin McAuley. Good morning, Robin. Great to have Hello, you. Hello, Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody? Yeah, I'm fine. I hope you too. <laughs> yes, excellent. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> First of all, uh, Robin, a, a big thank you to your wife, Gina, who made uh, this interview possible. So Gina, if you can see this, thank you for your support. Great. Thanks. Robin. Gina, Gina, is, Gina comes from Österreich. You know I, that. Yeah. I have a question later. Aha, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Robin, uh, like always, my very first question in the interview, how is the weather in Los Angeles? Uh, right now, it's, uh, it's okay. We had a week of uh, really high winds and a lot of rain that we need badly, but uh, uh, now it's gone. <laughs> okay, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, in Germany, I'm in, uh, I live in northern Bavaria, uh, all the snow is gone. We had a lot of rain now. Uh, plus two degrees here and Celsius and uh, yeah, um, it's, um, it's winter yeah. time and uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, spring is coming soon. Yeah. This, this will be a better year. Yes. Oh, oh, oh yeah, hopefully. So Robin, yeah. three minutes only, not much time. Let's start uh, with a few questions. Yes. Uh, at the moment, there are heavy times for all bands worldwide. How do you and your family manage this pandemic break? Oh. By murdering each other. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I haven't, uh, you know, I was doing a Vegas show for seven years, um, a show called Reading the Rock Vault. We, uh, we performed probably up till March 4th, which was my last show last year. Um, we must have performed almost 1,500 shows, 1,500 shows in seven okay. years. Voted uh, number one best of Las Vegas for seven straight years, a classic rock show. And so not working since last March uh, is, is huge. Um, in the meantime, um, what to do? Um, Black Swan, as you know, had released a record last year. And then uh, Frontiers Records, the label, came to me and said, uh, hey, you know, we think you should keep the momentum between now and the next Black Swan record. So why don't you record a solo record? Okay. And I said, ah, I don't want to record a solo record. What could I do? Right. And they said, well, and I said, you know, I have some ideas if I ever recorded a solo record that I would like to do that would make me happy. And they said, nah, you don't want to do that <laughs> because okay. Everybody knows you for this and this and this. So something like this and this and this will be good. So um, I got together with a bunch of writers and some of the people from Frontiers. And this weekend, actually, we just, uh, we just did a photo shoot. And on Thursday, Friday of this week, we do a video shoot for the first single. Um, and there's a new CD, a solo CD. Um, uh, the first single will come out February 25, and then there'll be a second single in April sometime, and then the, the album itself will drop on May 7th. So I've been trying to stay busy in answer oh, to your question. Big plans, cool. Okay. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then somewhere in the next weeks or maybe month, uh, we start on, hopefully start on another Black Swan record. Okay, okay. Oh, um, a lot of information. <laughs> a lot of. Uh, uh, Ro um, Robin, you, you can look back on a long time working together with Michael Schenker. Uh, the latest yes. album, Immortal, was released uh, some days ago here in Germany. Um, the 29th, yes. Yeah, you also can be heard there on a song, uh, In Search of the Peace of Mind, a brilliant song. I love it. Um, what's the most fascinating point working together with Michael in all these years? Oh. I'll try and make it quick. You know, uh, more than three years ago, um, when I got the call from, from Michael's management, from his lawyers, his legal people, that Michael had the idea. It was actually the first show, I think, was Bang Your Head Festival in Germany. 
<clears throat> and they asked me if I would be interested um, to sing along with Gary Bardens and Graham Bonnet. And I absolutely, I jumped at the opportunity because in Macaulay Schenker period, I would sing Gary's songs and, and Graham's okay. songs. But now there was an opportunity for all three of us to be together on the same stage, okay. singing, singing our own songs, but also doing background vocals for their songs and them with me. And we had so much fun that Schenker Fest ran for the last three years, right up to the pandemic. Yeah. And in actual fact, uh, as I told you, when I, when I had my last uh, Raiding the Rock Vault show on March 4th with, with uh, the Vegas show, two days later on the 6th of March, I was ready to fly uh, for uh, one of the heavy metal to, uh, cruises. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, that didn't work out. We had a sold out show of Japan. That didn't work. We rescheduled shows for Europe and Poland and Czechoslovakia and Germany and France and Italy and Spain. And, and all of that got canceled with the damn pandemic. And in the meantime, of course, Michael is now in lockdown and it's his 50th anniversary. Um, yeah, yeah. And he has Ronnie Romero and, and Ralph Sh uh, right. Schiffers and yeah. Michael Boss um, for his 50th anniversary. And that got released on the 29th. Um, and working with Michael is always something new. I mean, I think he plays better now than he ever did. He's very focused. He feels mm. very strong in himself. And um, Michael Schenkerfest shows were two hours. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. sometimes they almost ran three hours. Mm -hmm. And for the singers, for the singers, we could take breaks because we, I'd come and sing my set and Graham and, and then we brought Doogie White in, of course. But he's nonstop on stage and is playing. Yeah, yeah. Nonstop. I mean, nonstop. And then I, I know we used to have some fun watching him play the lead break on, on Rock Bottom. And mm -hmm. we, would, we would start to time it every night <laughs> because, because he, you know, exactly. he might stop at the beginning of the tour in five minutes, and by the end of the tour is on 20 minutes long. <laughs> and, and, and incredible stamina and incredible passion. And he's just, he's, he's a brilliant player and so many guitar players um, and singers like okay. myself. Okay. okay. Just, just love to perform with him because, because he's, uh, he's Michael, there's nobody else like him. You know, he's self-taught. Um, and of course, In Search of Peace of Mind was his first, as he said, was his first song recorded, first lead break played on uh, at the age of 15. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I uh, um, read it in a newspaper of, uh, when he was 15 in the kitchen <laughs> with his mother, he, he yeah. wrote this song. Uh, yeah, I, yeah guess, I remember, yeah. I remember when Macaulay Schenker group started, he would tell me stories about Rudolph would come home and he would want to learn a Beatles song that he was playing with his band. And so he would give Michael one Deutschmark and he would say, Michael, learn the chords of this song and then you teach me. And Michael was going, Great. Michael, Michael would say, it was incredible. I was making all of this money from my brother. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Robin, by the way, by the way, uh, two days ago, I had contact with Michael Foss. Oh. Gre greetings to you. Excellent. That's, that's my job to tell yes. you. Hello, my, hello Michael. Yeah. Hello, I Michael. did it. Uh, okay. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> um, Robin, since 2019, you also performed in a band called Black Swan. The band started uh, as a, yeah, let's say, as a, a super group. Um, you only released one album. Uh, you mentioned it, Shake the World. What is the current state of Black Swan? Uh, you, I guess you told it. A uh, next album. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we so. Will, yeah, we, we, we were, were contracted to make another record, but we yeah. want to make another record. Um, obviously, um, <clears throat> my schedule, my busy schedule working, I, I worked five nights a week in Vegas. So there was no time for a break. Whenever Schenker Fest would come up, I would take time out. And then when Black Swan started, of course, um, you have Jeff Pulson, who's working with Foreigner, you know, um, 12 nights a week <laughs> and then you have you have red beach working 12 nights a week <laughs> with white snake and then you have matt Starr, who works with with ace freely and mr big as often as they work mm. um so trying to get everybody in the same place at the same time okay. was was pretty difficult but i think we we uh we recorded 
a very strong, really great record. Um, it was so much fun. I've known Jeff Pilsen since 1988. Okay, okay. And Jeff, Jeff was my best man at my wedding. Okay. So, so we go back a long way. And um, writing together, recording together was just, it was just, a, we didn't really sit. And I remember the only conversation we had in the beginning was, okay, um, what is the record company looking for? Right? And Jeff said, well, they want a classic rock record. And we went, oh, and then we forgot about it. We didn't say another word. And we just started writing whatever we wanted to write. Okay. <laughs> cool. And that's just exactly what happened. <laughs> and um, I think I'm really looking forward to the next one because we've done that. We did that. And I think we're going to, I think the next one will be, okay. will be even better. Yeah. Okay. Robin, at the beginning, I mentioned your wife, Gina. Uh, who yeah. helped me scheduling this interview. Oh, yes. One year ago, Robin, one year ago, I had contact with Gina. Uh, it was about her fan magazine called Wild Axis. Uh, oh, yeah. She yes. started this print magazine in 1987. Gina is from, uh, in Austria, right? In Austria? Gina yes, is from Austria. Austria. Um, mm. Together with a close friend of her. Yes. And then the first Thank edition you. of this magazine, yes. 34 years ago when I'm right, she did an <laughs> interview with you. And yes. this interview changed life for both of you. Can you tell the story? Uh, Maybe yes. you have to shorten it. Oh my God, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. You know, um, um, we, were, uh, we were on tour uh, with Def Leppard. Uh, in, in, and we were in Germany, <coughs> in, in, in Cologne, in Cologne. Okay. Right? And um, Michael and I, uh, Michael and I were doing some interviews and some press throughout the day before the before the, the show that night, and I remember Michael and I were sitting uh, in the hotel lobby, and the elevator door opened, and this 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 excuse me one minute yeah. so this beautiful this beautiful woman this beautiful girl walked out, and I went, hey, okay so <laughs> so. Um, they went and did whatever and we went and did our job and then we came back to the hotel um and we had interviews all afternoon before sound check with Def Leppard and I saw them again and uh then she came to the show and we got talking and we we hung out for about two or three weeks didn't see each other for four years and then we met again in Vienna after four years, and the rest, as they say, is history. Ah, oh, come on, um, great. Still the story. Is, uh, she is the most amazing human being. She's oh, the most okay. amazing human being. And we have twin boys, two young men now, okay. who, uh, who will be uh, 22 on Valentine's Day. Right? Okay. So and they're like very tall. Yeah, yeah. Six foot. And um, yeah, it's... Uh, She's been my, my whole life, okay. meeting this, this girl from Austria and, and the stupid <laughs> Irish guy. I... <laughs> Gina, I hope you heard this. <laughs> yes. Right. Robin, and, okay, uh, my very last question. To which kind of music do you listen in your leisure time? Maybe <sighs> hip hop or a country music, Irish music? Well, um, obviously married to Gina, there's a lot of classical music in the house. Okay. Uh, when she was pregnant with the boys, all they heard was Beethoven and Mozart mm -hmm. and Tchaikovsky. That's all she would play so that they were surrounded by, by classical music. Um, I love everything. Um, obviously, being Irish, I love Irish traditional music. Um, one of my sons now is starting really to get into country music, although really? he's, he's a rock <laughs> guitar player and he's okay. shred. Um, but occasionally he likes to get into his truck and just blast country music. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and my other son, my other son uh, uh, is uh, he's a psychology major, but he loves to skate. So okay. his music, his uh, his skateboard music is is pretty is yeah. pretty powerful. <laughs> and so very very, you walk into my house and your head will be spinning because there's so much different kinds of music going this on. is too loud <laughs> yes so i i think to answer your question we listen to everything, everything in this okay. in this house every, okay. every genre of music okay. every genre yeah okay. something crazy is always going on 
Yeah. Okay, Robin, time is up. Three minutes only. Uh, uh, thanks <laughs> for your time. I wish you, Gina, and uh, the whole family all the best. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you. And Thank hope to see you on tour again soon. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. And uh, yeah, thanks for all. I wish you a great remaining Monday. God bless Thank you, my you, friend. Thanks to Gina. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.